Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Tara and as promised, I have that little mini haul for you guys. It's just kind of more on a mini haul. Lots of shoes, a little bit of clothing here and there from across the board, one or two pieces from Primark and my first and other stories order ever, which I'm super excited about and also some American Apparel stuff. So let's get straight into it. I forgot to mention, I have two beauty bits, so I'm gonna get those out of the way first. First up is the number seven Stay Perfect Super Light Foundation, which is the water-based one in the sort of Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua packaging. And all I have to say is that this has just changed my month and there will be a demo and application chatty video up later on in the week about this because I just filmed it before this video. Um, I also picked up the NARS uh, la, 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 Eyeliner Stilo, which is just their black liquid liner pen. Um, not too impressed with this one. It's the one that just comes like that and it's like, you know, like a felt tip marker or whatever. Um, I don't know guys, really. It was £21. I originally got the Ico one. Um, it swatched really nicely. It was £12. I got it. Got home, wasn't happy with it. Completely impossible to apply any product on your eyes. Brought it back, paid a little extra and got this one instead. This was like the one they said was like the best one that they had. I was gonna get like the Hourglass one with by Terry or the Kevin O'Quan, but the girls in the store said that this was the kind of, the one with the best payoff that was easiest to apply. And it was the one with the softest, like the nicest nib on it to um, apply the eyeliner. But really, I don't know, I just don't think these pen things work. I mean, if you guys know a good one, then let me know. But all of them just seem to not apply the product on the eyes very opaquely or very easily. And I just thought that this would have made my life a little bit easier because I was kind of getting lazy with my gel liner. But I don't know, I don't think anything is as good as like the liquid liner or gel liner, so. If you have any recommendations, then let me know. And um, hopefully, we're hoping one of the shots is going to be an ad. So that's really, really exciting. It's probably like the coolest thing that has ever happened to me in a while. I know, I you guys know how much I love American Apparel and to kind of, I don't know, work with one of my favorite brands was awesome. But for that, I was in Dublin. I went down to Dublin for the day and I stopped in Primark on the way back out of Dublin just before I got on my bus and I did see one nice thing in the Primark on O'Connell Street and I couldn't leave it there. It was 12 euros and it's this knitted t-shirt. I got it in a size 12 but as you guys can see it's pretty like small. It's not like you know massive size 12 and um, it's pretty plain. It has like a baseball look to it and I would have never picked this up if it was a regular t-shirt but it's actually like a fine knit and it, oh my god it looks so nice like the fabric is so nice like so much more expensive looking I mean if it was just cotton I wouldn't have taken two looks on it but the fact that it's like a really lovely fine knitted material I don't know it's just really nice it reminds me of like a tennis t-shirt or like a baseball t-shirt or something probably be in and out for post this week so I'm not going to try any of this stuff on for you guys but yeah I got that and I absolutely loved it and I thought it was really nice for a 12 euro it also had a matching skirt but I didn't dig I just don't dig knitted skirts that much but the top is absolutely lovely and it's a lovely simple style very Zara-esque I think I have lots of shoes in this haul as you guys know more shoes was my new year's resolution and I'm still on it like it's the easiest resolution I've ever had in my life, buying more shoes. But um, yeah, I was humming and hawing about these. I put up a blog post about some different styles, but um, a lot of you might've seen like Birkenstocks are sort of acceptable in society again. And um, again, I'm just, I just kind of like ugly shoes. I don't know why, and I'm attracted to anything that looks comfortable and ever so slightly stylish. So um, I'm still not sure about these. I got them from Topshop. And they're basically uh, basically like that kind of strappy Birkin style, Birkenstock style sandal, but they've got like a flat form sort of on it. And these are really comfortable. I got them in a size five. They have the same sole and everything as real Birkenstocks, like that little kind of shapely 
toe thing going on and um, Topshop do actually sell the real Birkenstocks but um, the straps on the Topshop ones and the leather looked a lot nicer on the Topshop brand ones. It looked a lot more it's like sturdy and just better leather. After working on Game of Thrones you know your good leather from your kind of slightly more average leather and I don't know I just really like this one it looks a bit more durable and um, they also had just regular like thin versions of these that aren't platformed and they also had them in white but I just got the black ones with the flat form and in a size five so um again i'm not sure about them but i just thought they'd be a really nice sort of summery easy to wear shoe that kind of very acceptable like with black ripped jeans or something so i got those they were 45 pound no 48 pounds but then i got student discount on that i get really eager i'm always like looking what next to show you guys when i was on the american apparel shoot uh, we styled these sandals and they kindly let me keep them and they're basically like a wooden heel simple strappy shoe they're so comfortable like honestly i was actually eyeing the black ones up online a few days before so you can imagine how happy i was they're just so me super comfortable super um minimal i have been dying for like a nude pair of sandal heels that were still kind of comfortable to walk in for my outfits and stuff because i do like to wear shoes that i actually can walk in every day so um i just thought these are absolutely gorgeous and they come in black they're just really comfortable really well made and the leather is lovely and i believe that american apparel only used like vegan leather so that marley some way makes me feel a bit better about myself they also gave me this simple little bangle which is really cute it just has like a nude sort of enamel square thing in the middle of it with a little gold bangle really nice for stacking up and they also gave me this pair of swimming bottoms and you might ask why swimming bottoms but I wore these on the shoot and I guess it's sort of um, harder to sell them on I guess after you've worn them so um, I mean it does have the plastic protection liner thing still in it but it's basically these um, kind of you know like the ones that come above the hip swim bottoms and I got them in I was also giving them in a white plain white and this kind of Hawaiian tropical flower print and I wore this um, styled under a completely clear plastic skater skirt it was just a really fun shoot um, I have a picture on my Instagram if you want to check it out it's down below like a behind the scenes one in the changing room so I got those and I have to say they're so flattering because I tried these on a few years ago like the style of sort of um, sw swimming swim swimwear and honestly like it just made me look massive but I guess now since I've lost a bit of weight they, they're actually quite flattering on now and um, so I got them in white and this colour and of course I can just mix and match them with the bikinis that I already have. I also got um, some things for my first ever order from And Other Stories which I think they're like a sister company of like H&M or something like that but um, the stuff is kind of more on the expensive side but I really really like their website I mean of course they just have like you know normal stuff but like some of their knitwear is really beautiful knitwear and I'm in my knit workshop at the moment and I'm doing knit for the next six like four weeks for my final project so I'm really into knitwear at the moment and um, even though it's kind of coming into spring summer it's raining like all the time in Belfast it's freezing cold so I am still going to get some wear out of this like I, I justified it by knowing that the weather is still pretty bad outside um, and obviously I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it next winter as well but it was this knit that I just had like I just fell in love with it I couldn't get it off my mind it was really pricey it was 45 pounds or 55 euros and I got it in the extra small because they did look really oversized this was the smallest size they came in and I'm so happy I got the extra small because it is still quite big so it's just a grey knitted jumper it's so thick and heavy like it's the thickest knitted jumper I've ever had and it is really expensive for knit but the last expensive jumper I bought was two or three years ago from Topshop that was around the same price and the one I got from Topshop I wore a million times I so got my value for money out of it and I still wear it today and I kept in really good condition so I don't really mind spending the money on um, some good knitwear every now and again I think it's a really investment piece and yeah so I got this one it's kind of like a grey um, grainy sort of look it's like a mixture of like a light grey yarn and a 
woolly black yarn and the ribbing I just fell in love with the ribbing to me this is so like luxury and a bit more high end just really thick um rib around the neck and also that really thick rib around the uh the cuff as well so I'm gonna wear this today I'm probably going to roast because it is surprisingly sunny today but it'll probably be raining later wear it um today over my cow print shirt that you saw in my last haul. So that's what it looks like. It doesn't have any ribbing on the bottom, which uh, I'm not really keen on because I do like to fold my jumpers up, but I can do that myself manually, manually if I want to. So yeah, that was £45. Probably spent way too long showing you guys, but it's not very often I spend that much on knitwear. Again, don't have any sort of nice comfortable flats that look nice on. Um, so I got these black satin sandals and um, very well made very kind of more dressy looking they just have like this kind of cross over detail and then a plain strap and um, my one worry is though the last pair of shoes i got like this were from zara and they were unbearably uncomfortable they were the studded um flats that they had with the rhinestones all over them and those cut the ankles off me i just couldn't break them in they were just way too painful so i think i sold them but um, the back of these ones seem pretty like flexible. It shouldn't take too much breaking in, if any at all. I mean, I try them on around the house and they seem fine. And I got them in a size 38 and I am a size five and a half and they fit really, really good. Um, and yeah, I just thought they were really beautiful. And I just thought the satin aspect gave a little bit more of a dressed up vibe. So you could like wear it in the summer to like a wedding, like a summer wedding coming up. Or, you know, just to, if you're wearing sort of a nice outfit but you don't want to wear heels, just I think dressy flats are so nice and there's so many nice ones going around at the minute. I can't remember, oh, how much were these? These were £39. So I got those and I got these with the money that I got paid from the American Apparel shoot. So I decided to treat myself this month. I usually don't have the money to be going on an impulsive sh online shopping spree, but... You know it was nice too anyway every now and again there's just those times where you're able to afford something kind of nice and um unnecessary for yourself so i got it came in a little cotton um little bag with a ribbon on it and it's just this gorgeous little um hair clip with this like metal fringing on it and it's sort of curved so you can clip it just above your like ponytail or whatever like that i actually probably would have preferred if it was less curved so i could wear it like on the side of my head or something like that and um, but i just thought it was absolutely beautiful and there's a bangle version of it that I have my eye on so bad, like it was like 55 pounds, but it's just this gorgeous bangle. I just think the design is so sleek, very Swedish, very clean and minimal, and I just love that sort of style, but it's just not very often that I see those styles on the high street and I'm able to afford them. So yeah, I got this, and I'll give you guys a little close-up of that. So I think that's just about everything from this little mini haul, even though it was just a few things. Um, I haven't actually splurged on myself this much in a very long time. I don't get the opportunity to do that very much. So I hope that you enjoyed watching all the little bits and bobs that I got for myself. Um, I really like the And Other Story stuff. I wish we had one in Ireland. If I ever go to the store myself, I would like just die because I think I'd probably like a lot of it. Don't forget to hit that like button, favorite, and of course subscribe and leave your request in that comments bar below. Of course, all the links, if I can find them, will be down in the info bar too. C'est la vie, mes amis. I will see you in my next one. Peace.